so we're back again with another NBA 2K18 My Team video and I've been waiting for so long to try and bring out this video because it is the end of the latest season and if you look on screen right now, I have no idea what's going on. What is this downloading game updates? I've played this game so much and I haven't seen this, so I don't know what they're updating. Hopefully it's the foul glitch or hopefully they're bringing in just something insane for this season reward. I don't know. But yeah, this is like a full live reaction because I have no idea what's going on. You can see it just finished and the round's legit only been over for five minutes. So I've got no idea what this is going to be. And that's the reason why I'm so hyped. All right, so we're now getting into my team and let's see what happens. I don't think anything will happen at the start. I think we have to actually go into Supermax and I don't care. I'm just going straight into it. You can see I finished in the Ruby League. I'm so cut about that. I just gave up in the end. I was almost in the Pink Diamond League and then I just got quit out of like five games in a row. So I was just like, screw it, I'm not doing it. But anyway, let's get into it. You can see we have that star, finish the third round, yep. And now you can see finish the inaugural season at Pink Diamond tier. So I've got no idea what this is. We can see we get one card. I so hope it's Amethyst or above. Come on, baby. Let, let me go into this rewards queue. Come on. I I is this seriously what we've worked for? <laughs> what? Okay, the stats better be nice, but you can see the player's name below. And it's a Ruby Michael Carter Williams. And he can never shoot the ball, never do anything really in 2K. But you can see we'll get a Ruby flash. As I said, I wanted it to be Amethyst or better, but I guess Ruby is okay. I'll take what I can get. It just took a lot of grinding, so I'm not sure if this was really worth it. And there it is, an 88 overall, Michael Carter-Williams. So anyway, when we check the stats on this card, he has a 250 cap, which is pretty good, but that's probably going to go up to 400 in no time. He's an 86 defensive overall and a 90 offensive overall. The best thing about him, though, is he's 6 foot 6 at the point guard position. But I'm excited to see these stats because I want them to be good. For a Ruby, he has to have okay stats. He has 88 driving layout, which is okay. Oh, okay, because I thought that his shooting was going to be trash, but in his rookie season, he must have shot really well. I sort of, sort of remember glimpses of it, but not the best. And he has an 87 three ball. He has a 75 free throw, which I wish was a little bit higher. He has good ball control, good passing, actually really good passing. He's got good rebounding for his hype, so he'll be able to grab those boards. 95 pass perception, 95 steal. I was pretty disappointed when I saw this card, but it doesn't look too bad. He's got a 65 driving dunk which is actually okay because his height compensates for that and he'll be getting quite a few dunks, I think. 86 speed, 88 speed with ball, 87 stamina. I mean, the card doesn't look as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Now, these are his tendencies. He has 80 drive dunk tendency, which is all you need. He will be throwing it down. And now, as for the system proficiencies, He's actually pretty good in all of them. Like the lowest is 74, pace and space is a 99. I run defense, which is an 88, which I'm happy with. But yeah, it's a pretty balanced card. And now when we look at the badges, he comes with 10 gold badges, which is nice, including defensive stopper, pickpocket, dimer, corner specialist, which is good, catch and shoot, good, acrobat, good, teardropper, ankle breaker, pick and roll maestro, and Lob City Passer. He also comes with three personality badges, but they're not insane ones. But yeah, that's basically an overview of the stats. And to be honest, I don't know where I sit. I wish it was Amethyst or High because this was four weeks of just grinding, trying to get to the season. And we really only get an 88 overall Ruby. I don't know. I was sort of hoping for an Amethyst or higher. But I guess I'll take what I'll get. And we're going to go into a freestyle game right now to check out his release and everything. So here he is. He's got that fade going. And let's have a look at his hotspots. First of all, he has like legitimately two. That's pretty disappointing as well. But my first shot with him was... Okay, he's got a really quick release. Okay, I'm surprised. That's actually all right though. You get used to it. Like... I was surprised how quick it was, but I now like his release and it's that easy. Like you can see ever since that, I've got good on every single one. That's a full wide bar, even though he misses and that's my worst release so far. He still misses, that's another bad release, but watch this, I can guarantee you, I'm about to get a full wide bar or a green. I told you and it missed. Now see his dunks, I'm happy with those dunks. When he's six foot six, he will get quite a lot of dunks, even with the low dunking rating. 
I'm happy. Let's take another one. See, it's green. I told you. Let's see if we can get another one from the corner. From the corner, Michael Carter-Williams. Another green. How many can we go in a row? All right, let's go corner again. Michael Carter-Williams. Another green. That's three in a row. And now let's go four. No, we just missed. And now let's get a dunk. Just, oh, no, no, no. Now let's get a dunk. Get a dunk to make it a special play. So it is every time in only one recording. Let's see if I can green his release. All right, come on, come on, come on. Oh, dude, that's a full white bar. That had to go in. Okay, well, I guess we didn't do it this time, but it definitely should have gone in. That was almost a per It should have been a perfect release. Because he's a point guard, I'm not very into this, but let's see his drill moves. He's got a nice behind the back, and his one way you push up on the stick is this. Um, that's all right, I guess. I guess it would create some separation and he can definitely speed boost. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I thought I was gonna hate this card when I first saw who it was because I was like, if it's his buck season, then he can't shoot at all. He'll have like a 53. But I've just splashed three greens in a row and almost make that four, And although we just missed. But he can shoot the ball. He's six foot six at point guard. And I mean, to end it all off, this card is legitimately free. I'll probably get some gameplay out with him later. So be on the lookout for that. Probably tomorrow, to be honest. So let me rephrase everything I said. I know it started out disappointed. Then I got happier. And I've been getting happier throughout the whole of this video when looking at this Michael Carter Williams. Now that I think of it, I think he's actually a beast. 87.3. And this is something huge. 95 steel. Like... I love reaching in and having 95 steel definitely helps getting steals. He's also got 65 driving dunk when he's six foot six with 80 tendencies and then 88 speed with ball. He's then also got an 88 driving layup. So when you mix those all together, this is a really, really good card for the way anyone plays because he should fit anyone's play style. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Smash that like button if you enjoyed. If you want to see gameplay with Michael Carter-Williams, just let me know and it should be coming out soon. I just so hope they've fixed the foul glitch, to be honest. That's what I'm hoping that update was for. Anyways, I'm pretty happy with this card and I hope you guys can see that. So make sure to subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.